Welcome to Strip Cover Loot, where we squeeze the bigger picture out of literature. And if you've been keeping up with the channel, you know that this is the first day of the 12 days of Litmus. I will be uploading a video every day for the next 12 days. Um, and today's theme is my favorite poem, but I have already talked about I Died for Beauty on the channel many times, including uh, not very long ago. So I'm going to go with a poem that I have talked about many times on this channel, but I don't think that I've ever really delved into why this is such, uh, such a precious poem to me. And that is The Bluebird by Charles Bukowski, as I found in The Pleasures of the Damned, <clears throat> poems 1951 through 1993. The poem reads as such. The Bluebird. There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out, but I'm too tough for him. I say, stay in there. I'm not going to let anybody see you. There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out, but I pour whiskey on him and inhale cigarette smoke. And the whores and the bartenders and the grocery clerks never know that he's in there. There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out, but I'm too tough for him. I say, stay down. Do you want to mess me up? You want to screw up the works? You want to blow my book sales in Europe? There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out, but I'm too clever for him. I only let him out at night sometimes. When everybody's asleep, I say, I know you're in there, so don't be sad. Then I put him back, but he's singing a little in there. I haven't quite let him die. And we sleep together like that with our secret pact. And it's nice enough to make a man weep, but I don't weep, do you? And it is hard for me to describe why I like this poem so much. And normally when that sort of thing happens, uh, it's probably pretty safe to assume that you identify with the piece, just in the same way that it would be hard for you to put a definition on yourself, whereas when you think of other people in your life, you can, you can pop up a four or five word summary that sort of describes them. But when it's you, those things are so much harder to do. Um, so when you, when you find a poem that hard to describe what you like about it, there's some you in there, which brings us to the final stanza of The Bluebird. Then I put him back, but he's singing a little in there. I haven't quite let him die, and we sleep together like that with our pact, with our secret pact, and it's nice enough to make a man weep, but I don't weep, do you? Uh, who is this you? in the poem. Who is the intended audience? Is this poem Bukowski's little rendition of Prospero? 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 I'm not sure the exact way to pronounce that. Prospero? Uh, is this Bukowski showing us the real him and admitting that even with Bukowski, Bukowski sort of has to be the tough guy? After all, we do not let that blooper die. We want him to keep singing because when everyone else is asleep, we get to feel a little bit better, don't we? Can't we just have a little goodness? I think the idea of audience, this you in here, I think the idea of audience being incorporated to this poem makes it a great candidate to talk about the difference between tenderness and vulnerability. Uh, and with delving into that, which is sort of what I think one aims to do when incorporating literature into life, um, mainstreaming it like a drug, right? When you take literature and you try to use it to um, define yourself a little bit better, what you do is you extract something from the poem you analyze that and then reapply it to the poem. So this difference between tenderness and vulnerability, both of these words 
uh, at their very core contains some allusion to weakness. Uh, a tender act is me showing you my weakness. A vulnerable act is me trying to hide my weakness from you. That is what someone who is vulnerable um, does not want that vulnerability seen. Someone who is tender has incorporated it into their being. With both words, however, it is the same weakness, right? Uh, the word usage depends on the user's relationship to the audience. For example, I am a very physically weak person. I can't lift a lot of weight, and this bothers me. At home with my wife, I might ask for help moving things or carrying stuff because husband and wife is a very intimate relationship. This is a tender relationship. We will work together to overcome my weakness. At work, however, uh, if I cannot lift something, I might tell someone else to do it. Or if someone sees me struggling to lift something uh, and asks if I need help, I will bluster and become angry. No, I don't need any help. Just go do what you're doing. Um, tender, so, so that is because you were vulnerable in that situation. You were not very intimate with your coworkers. So tender is yielding. Tender says we can solve this. Vulnerable is offensive. Vulnerable says I have to cover this weakness so that it does not get taken advantage of. Uh, and I think that that is a great part of the genius of this poem. Is this poem tender? Or is it vulnerable? And how you read into that is going to depend very much on who you are. Uh, if you identify with the poem, it is being vulnerable. Because the you involved in that last stanza, but I don't weep, do you? That is you talking to yourself. In the same way that you might you start, you, you drop something in the kitchen. Aw, oh, damn it. You can't do that, right? You, you'll curse at yourself. So this is, if this is a vulnerable poem, Bukowski's challenging himself there at the end, which if you identify with it becomes you challenging yourself there at the end. If you are empathizing with this poem, then it is tender. Bukowski is showing you his weakness with the bluebird. And even at the end, when he's saying, but I don't weep, do you? That is him sort of encouraging you to help him with this weakness. You are introduced to the tough guy, shown that the bluebird is there, and then sort of the tough guy comes back around at the end. And at the end, this is when, if you are reading this as a tender poem, you're inside on the joke, right? Uh, either way, you were sucked into some level of intimacy with this poem. Uh, either that implied by Bukowski being so tender with you, because that a tender relationship is an intimate relationship, or the intimacy associated with you talking to yourself. Because what, what relationship is more intimate than how intimately you know yourself? Uh, so that to me is the great genius of this poem. That is what I have for day one of Litmus, my favorite poem by Charles Bukowski, uh, The Bluebird. And tomorrow I will have my favorite flash fiction. I hope to see you then. And if I hear of any other creators who are doing this, I will do my best to link their videos in the description below as well. On the first day of lit, Miss Strip Cover read to me.
His favorite poem by Bukowski. Where did I put it?